Hello everyone, James here from 9to5software, and in today's video, we're diving into the metal world of Minecraft. Specifically, we're tackling how to make a server for the incredibly enthralling Divine Journey 2 mod pack. Whether you're looking to play with Pales on Game Team or set things up on your own Windows machine for free, I've got you covered. Minecraft is more than just a game. It's a vast universe where imagination meets creation. One of the best experiences in this blocky realm is the shared adventure on a server. And today's focus is on setting up one of the most enticing mod packs out there at Divine Journey 2. And if you wanna get started playing Divine Journey 2 mod pack right away with Game Team, don't forget to use the special coupon code in the description for nine to five software viewers. Now you might be wondering what exactly Divine Journey 2 encompasses. Imagine a Minecraft world bursting with magical creatures, challenging quests, and powerful items waiting to be discovered. It's an epic voyage that's just waiting for you to embark upon. And all it takes is a server setup to get started. So how to begin this process on Game Team? First off, create an account on their website. After your login, setting up your server is a breeze. Choose the Minecraft version compatible with Divine Journey 2. Select your server location and personalize it with a unique name and player limit. From there, you can install any additional mods and plugins to enhance your experience. Once you confirm the setup, it's a simple matter of uploading the mod pack files to your server, restarting, and voila. You and your friends are ready to take on Divine Journey 2 together. But perhaps you're aiming to set this up on Windows at zero cost? The process begins with downloading the Minecraft server software and ensuring you have the right Java installed. A dedicated server folder helps keep things organized. Within this folder lies the server properties. Files, this is where you tailor your server settings to your liking. Adjust to your heart's content, then save and launch the Minecraft server jar file. Remember, Java is your friend here. Make sure it's properly installed. With the server live, all that's left is to add it to your Minecraft multiplayer list and you're all set. Uh, some frequently asked questions include whether Divine Journey 2 can be played solo, absolutely using a launcher like Twitch, whether additional mods are a go, yes, just upload to the server mods folder, and how to invite friends for like server IP. If you're curious about system requirements, a smooth experience often requires at least four gigs of RAM, a stable internet connection, and a capable processor. In conclusion, setting up a Divine Journey 2 server on Game Team or a Windows PC can lead to countless hours of legendary Minecraft adventures. Get ready to delve into a mythical land filled with wonder and excitement alongside your friends. All the technical steps are now within your grasp thanks to this guide. Dive into the fantastic world of the Divine Journey 2 mod pack and let the epic questing begin. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more software reviews and tutorials here at 9to5 Software. Until next time, happy mining and crafting.